Welcome back. This month is Blood Cancer Awareness Month, and this morning we have an amazing story of survival to share with you. And she's actually right here next to me, Kelly Sedell, here to tell her story. And we also want to introduce Valerie Maslow, a physician's assistant who really helped care for Kelly. We're going to hear you about your role in a minute, but you're here. You're a survivor. Congratulations. Tell us your story and your journey, if you will. Thank you so much. Uh, so I was diagnosed in 2014 with acute myeloid leukemia. I'm at just 26 years old. Um, I went through intensive chemotherapy for about nine months and I achieved remission. So I had a full year in remission. Val was, you know, instrumental in being there for me throughout that process. And then unfortunately in 2016 in July, I got re-diagnosed with leukemia. So it was straight up to Boston. I had to go to Dana-Farber to receive a life-saving bone marrow transplant and clinical trial. Um, and here I am almost two years later. Uh, actually, two weeks is my two-year birthday, so to speak. Yeah, so, that's what they call it, a yes, birthday. Yes, exactly, it mm -hmm. is. So gives me chills just talking know, about it. Too. And so if this is something you probably think about on a daily basis. It's always, you know, because you'll go back, what, annually, every six months? How often do you are you checked? It was every two months, and then now it's been every six months. But hopefully, I think after October, it'll be annually, mm -hmm. I believe. But I still follow up with my local oncologist. So. And so tell us your role, obviously instrumental and in obviously providing support, medical care. Um, why is your role, do you think, so important in um, situations like Kelly's? Well, I mean, it, it helps to have, you know, somebody there by your mm -hmm. side through the whole process. I went through it with my own dad, um, you know, years ago. And um, we've been here for Kelly since the initial diagnosis. And uh, it's been really actually a, a big honor for us to be a part of her care. People talk about cancer all the time, these blood cancers. They're serious stuff. What kind of stats can you throw at me? Um, how many people have these blood cancers? I, I mean, blood cancer is every, everywhere you look. I mm -hmm. mean, it, more and more people are diagnosed with it every day. And I mean, for statistics for Kelly, um, you know, the five-year survival rate is about 25%. Wow. So it's, it's one of the more aggressive, but um, we're, we're making really big strides. So for people watching right now, um, what kind of symptoms did you have? What's something that you can look out for, if you will? Because a lot of times you hear, again, you, you have someone you know is touched mm. with cancer, unfortunately. And so you start getting a little paranoid. Oh, no, every ache, pain, mm. every bruise, everything kind of makes you think, oh, no, is something else wrong? What were your symptoms, if we can ask? So my symptoms, I mean, in hindsight, I had a ton. But at the time, I really didn't notice. But I just had really dark bruising that didn't look normal. And I think God mentioned it to my, in my annual gynecologist appointment. She got a CBC blood work on me and it was just from there on it was like immediate so it was leukemia like my blood was just and you felt normal uh, I mean I felt tired but I thought it was just day-to-day -day work tired not sleeping well you know maybe not eating mm -hmm. the healthiest I just thought it was normal life you know mm -hmm. but in hindsight I definitely had night sweats and you know a lot of other symptoms that I didn't really put two and two together because 26 sure. you know, I was on a kickball league I literally went to kickball the day that I got my blood work so mm -hmm. it just didn't make any sense but thankfully we caught it and I've responded to treatment well you know, and you just have to pray that you're going to be okay. And as a physician, what do you say to people out there? What symptoms are you, should you be looking for? And when you go to your annual appointment, should you be asking your doctor to test for this or do they test for this? Uh, so normal annual exams, I mean, you should get regular blood work, you know, a regular CBC, which checks your blood counts. Um, but any unexplained, you know, fatigue, chronic, um, bleeding, bruising, um, anything unexplainable that you know is out of the ordinary for you, mm -hmm. definitely bring up to your physician. This is an important month. Um, what's going on? How can people raise awareness on their own or possibly donate? Because this is um, something that you're constantly looking for more money for more research. So uh, this is a big month, uh, mm -hmm. but it, just in general, I mean, there's so much going on with Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, so mm -hmm. many different events to participate in. Um, but LLS in general has been instrumental in making huge steps for uh, blood cancer research. In the last year, we had 18 new FDA-approved uh, therapies for blood cancer, wow. and LLS had a part in about 15 of those FDA-approved therapies. So there's ways to help, and um, if you happen to see you know, events going on in the community for leukemia lymphoma, definitely reach out and be a part of it. I lost a dear friend to leukemia when I was uh, younger, and so the fact that in probably what, 15, 20 years, they've mm. made so much progress. Mm -hmm. And to see you standing here today is really reassuring <laughs> to everyone, but yeah. also a reminder not to ignore those signs right. and Absolutely. symptoms. And well, we wish you luck and happy Absolutely. birthday. Oh, thank you. Happy early, it. early birthday. Yes. Thank you so much. If people want more information, how they can help or get involved with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, where can they go? So www.lls.org slash PB is the local chapter of Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and they can get all the information there. And here at WPBF, yeah. we work very closely with the Leukemia mm -hmm. Lymphoma Society. We love yeah. being a 
part of it. So thank you. Happy thank birthday. You. Thank you. Chris, we'll send things over to you.